This is a BTEC Level 3 Art and Design course. So this course is a practically based course, but there is a written content to the course through the analysis and the artist research that you do um, and the fact that you have to annotate and log your journey and what you've learnt. Um, there isn't a written essay as there is required in the A level, but one of the units is a written unit of which you have an external exam. You'll explore a variety of materials and techniques and you will continue to develop your ideas through visual outcomes. Over the two years, you'll complete four units of which three of them are compulsory and mandatory and one is optional. But this course equates to one A level. Through the four units, you will do unit one visual recording, which you will do in year 13. And that is an external assignment set by the exam board with the theme of their choice. And it's predominantly drawing um, and developing an idea based on an artist and then producing an outcome. Unit two, critical and contextual studies in art design is again a mandatory unit and we sit that in May of year 12. This is a written exam where you'll be given a theme by the exam board and you have to research artists in advance for the exam and then you have to write an essay in three and a half hours. Unit three is the creative process and this is the coursework element. Again, this is a mandatory uh, unit. It's internally a set assignment, which means that the department sets the themes, but we keep the theme very broad and you will continue to do Unit 3 over Year 12 and Year 13. Unit 12 is the optional unit, but this is the option that you specialise in. So this is fine art materials, techniques and processes. And this is through the materials that we um, give you to explore through printing, through illustration, through painting. And then you will develop one of those over the two years so that you can develop some outcomes for your coursework. The units broken down is the visual recording and communication is where students will develop their understanding of the visual elements through how artists use them to communicate. They will apply this understanding through developing their visual communication and the way that they use the visual elements to, through 2D and 3D. And this will be extended into a theme based project and then evaluated. You're limited to what you can produce in that time as the exam board are very specific in how the work has to be presented. But you get around five months in which to produce that work and produce an outcome. The critical and contextual studies unit is given um, in the November of year 12 and it will be sat in the January of year 12 or year 13. Or you can sit it in the May of year 12. We try to sit it in the May of year 12 so that you can get it done and then you don't have to worry about it. This unit you are given for a month to prepare and then at the end of it you have three and a half hours in which to write an essay based on the theme of the exam board's choice. You have to analyse and compare the work of two artists, work that you have seen and work that you haven't seen. The creative process is the practical one and from this this is based on what you wish to explore as an artist through your painting, through printing, it may be through the way that you draw in it, quite an illustrative kind of style. You can produce 2D or 3D and we give you a broad theme. And from that, you develop it in a route that you are interested in and enthused about. You will draw, you will gather imagery, you will select your own artists and you will experiment. In year 12, we spend the first term doing workshops. So from that, the workshops will then support you in developing your understanding and your skills. And obviously the fine art, we teach you as many fine art materials and techniques that we can and then from that you can specialise. Um, we require that you have at least a grade four at GCSE and a level four in English because of the written element. But if you do not have this, then we would be prepared to have you on the course as long as you've got a good portfolio that you can show us prior to starting the course. Uh, the course is aimed at anybody who's really passionate about the subject and who believes in art and are committed to developing their skills. You need to be able to take risks and to be able to experiment and to explore different principles, uh, disciplines, and you need to be also able to be involved and want to be passionate about the subject because of the amount of hours it takes. But it's a great subject if you want to develop it into fashion, advertising, architecture. Here is a list of all the careers that you can do with an art background. There is a multitude. Expectations are that we just hope that you will be enthusiastic, engaged, and you need to be spending at least five hours a week outside of the classroom to ensure that you cover everything that has been asked of you.